Hey, it's Pete from Abstract Ocean. In this video, we're gonna be installing our super oleophobic rear camera cover for Model 3 and Y. Um, if I grab this camera, you can get a close up of that. Um, so the purpose of this is to prevent rain, dirty water, and everything else sticking to the rear camera. Um, if you've driven a Tesla for any length of time through weather, then you'll know that the aerodynamics of the car and just everything else means that this gets pretty dirty pretty quickly. Um, so installation is real simple. It's basically peeling the stick. We're going to do a demo video first. So in the first couple of minutes, we're going to show you um, kind of simulated conditions because it just didn't rain in Texas when we were recording the video. So we do use a jet wash. Um, we do not recommend using a jet wash close up though because you'll, you'll eventually just um, dislodge it. So just take that with a, a pinch of salt. But really we're just trying to demonstrate the sort of the turbine and the, the swirling effect of water mist on the back of the car. So we'll cover that in the demo, then we'll do the install and we'll be done. Okay, so we installed this um, oleophobic camera cover about, I don't know, three weeks ago now. And the weather hasn't changed, it's been like this the whole time. It will not rain. Um, the one time it did rain, I took the car for a drive and kind of tried to follow the storm and actually just drove out of it. So we're going to, um, if I spin the camera around or grab the camera, we're going to do some simulation stuff. So down here we've got um, a jet wash and then we're going to use a leaf blower and then we're going to use a bucket full of fairly grungy water about as grungy as I can get to, to still work through the through the jet wash and we're going to kind of simulate the sort of driving vortex that you get um, on the back of the, the car and see how well this repels the um, the, the water the, the sort of dirty water so don't know how this is going to go but we want to test it so this is what we're going to do All right, so if you're paying attention, you'll see that the car now is completely different from those last um, video segments. So we recorded those in the summer of 22. We're now in the winter of 23, different car, uh, 2023 Austin build Model Y. Um, but we've sold our first batch. We've got some feedback that I kind of wanted to incorporate in the video before we publish it. So that's what we're gonna do. Just kind of um, sort of reiterate a couple of really key points to make sure that your installation is successful. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is remove this Model 3 plate. As you can see, we don't even have plates for this yet. So I'm going to take this off because it gets in the way of the installation. Um, and then we're going to go real slow and just kind of talk through it. Don't worry, I'm still going to be quite quick. It's freezing cold out here. So, um, so bear with me. Let's get on with the install. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the license plate frame. If you don't have a frame, you can skip this step. You don't need to actually remove your, your license plate. Okay, now we've done that, let's take a look at the cover before we do anything. That's what it looks like. Take it out the back, that'll help. Okay, so it obviously fits on just like this. Um, you may even want to just lift your um, trunk a little bit. I'm not going to because I've got cameras lined up and stuff like that. But um, the whole point is you want to get this installed um, perfectly square around the camera cover so get down and low when you're installing it um, and the key key point is the area must be clean and dry um, from the ones we've sold so far by far the biggest issue is there's some trapped moisture so do this on a day like today right it's freezing cold but it's bone dry as well so really good conditions for installing something like this actually the cold bit isn't you should ideally do it when it's between um, around about 50 to I guess 85 Fahrenheit or um, 15 to 30 celsius just for the adhesive to take um, but the adhesive we use on this is a little different it's more of a gel adhesive um, because it's it needs to be watertight so um, the normal 3m black foam vhb tape very high bond tape you know it's a sponge so um, it's not perfectly watertight so we use a different adhesive on this so what we're going to do is um, clean the area first um, we're going to be including an alcohol wipe now as we uh, sell these so I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
Um, of course, clean the camera lens as well because it's about to be sealed up. You're not going to be able to get to it. But just really work around it. Make sure the area is absolutely clean. Okay. Now we're going to give that a, a minute or so to, to flash off. Um, while we do that, let me uh, maybe get a close up on this if the camera will pick it up. Am I locked on focus? I am. Let's just get rid of that for a second. Okay. So um, hopefully you can see this. Maybe not. I'm going to go. So hopefully you can see this. So there's a pull tab here. Um, the This one comes off really quite easy. Just pay attention when you remove this that the film comes away and the glue stays in place. Um, the glue is kind of very, very sticky. It'll stick to anything. Um, ideally, it'll stick more to the plastic than the the uh, protective layer, but you never know. So just take pay attention when you remove it. Um, you don't want to get any kind of creases or have to reapply the adhesive. Um, and then just a note, so <clears throat> this film has a, what we're calling a super oleophobic coating on it. Um, it's not, it doesn't last forever. Um, you know, depending on conditions, and we'll flash up some photos now of some great examples of where it's worked fantastically well in really abusive conditions. Um, but depending, you know, how often you drive, how polluted your air is, and spoiler alert, we nearly all live in air that's plenty polluted. Um, and of course, with the shape of the Model Y uh, and Model 3, in fact, virtually any car these days, the air kind of whips over the top and then whips around underneath here. So this is a really kind of high traffic area for any particulates that are in the air. So all that is to say, you know, you should be able to get four to six months out of it. It's much like a ceramic coating. Um, you know, when you first apply ceramic coating, water just falls off your car. It won't stick no matter what you do. Um, but despite the adverts, um, you know, six months later, it's just not quite as slick. So, um, so your experience might be a little bit different, but generally speaking, um, assume four to six months, um, or maybe you just want to apply one for the winter um, and, you know, they go through the summer and then reapply it in the fall. Um, totally up to you, but um, just, just want you to know this does have um, the lifespan. Okay. So everything is dry, completely dry. Um, so what I'm gonna do is get right underneath. So kind of get, get your eye in a little bit. I'm gonna peel off the protection, protective layer. And then ideally what you want to do is um, fit it so it kind of hits, oops, bad example. So it hits all sides at the same time. You don't want it crooked. You don't want it getting a, an uneven bond on one side or the other. So I'm just going to go straight up. I'm looking at this front edge to make sure it's well aligned. And then I'm just going to apply some pressure. Um, if you touch the film, you'll feel the lens slightly touching it. That's totally okay. But we're going to just carry on applying some upward pressure for about 30 seconds. And then we recommend, if you can, Certainly if the weather is fairly biblical, so if it's you know, rain or snow or um, you know, low, low temperatures, don't drive for at least 24 hours if you can avoid it. Um, and then if you are applying it in a lower temperature like I am right now, just when you walk by the car, just give it a little push up, you know, kind of give it a helping hand to get that final bond. But I think that's pretty good. So there you go, that's how you install it. I don't want to kind of keep driving this home, but um, if you take one thing from this video, it is this area needs to be clean and dry so we don't get any trapped moisture in here because once it's in there it's not coming out no matter what you do of course we'll, we've got your back we'll ship you another one but i'd rather not do that if we can avoid it all right thank you for watching